Hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing and this time it's a one-off box and it's from Latest in Beauty and it is the Sunday Times Style Summer Essentials box. It costs £48 plus £3.95 delivery and it's worth a massive £274. Now, I used a code which I think you can still use, which is 5 off STS22, which will hopefully get you £5 off this box. And that will bring it down to £46.95, which includes the package and posting. That's what I paid for it anyway. Um, if you are a subscriber to Latest in Beauty and you have been for a certain amount of time, then I think you become a Lib Pro and get an automatic 15% discount on this box and I'm not sure whether you can get the five pound on top of that I don't know because I'm not one of those uh, lucky people um, I don't subscribe to the beauty box because it's a different to a lot of other beauty boxes in that you get a selection of products to choose from and I think you choose up to six products and they're always releasing different edits for those products my problem is I can never make a choice so it's not really the best box for me but I do love their limited edition boxes and this one is no exception it's really really good so what I'm going to do is just show you it comes with this sleeve um, and then it's just a sort of a normal box of theirs underneath you open it up it says latest in beauty there is a little card that has some detail on and i've gone to the brand's websites as well just to add to that where necessary um so what i'll do now is i think i'll unbox it to get it in the right order so i think there's 11 products is it 11 11 products all together so there's a fair few to get through i'll be back in a second back again okay now this particular edit when you go to look at it online and i think it's still available has a number of choices so you have to make a shade choice on one of the products which i'll get to when we get to that product i'll explain it then um i've done something a little bit different with this box i've tried i only got it yesterday and i've tried to use as many products as possible just so i can give you a proper sort of more personal uh, opinion on them so I'm going to get on with it because, as I say, there's quite a few to get on with and knowing me, I'll be going on far too long. So the first product we've got is by Saint-Tropez and it's the Gradual Tan Classic Body Daily Firming Lotion, Medium Dark. This is a 30ml version, 200ml has an RRP of £18, um, so I reckon this is worth around £3. Latest in Beauty say it's a multitasking gradual tan that gives you a subtle sun-kissed daily glow whilst combining five super skincare benefits that keep your skin hydrated for up to 72 hours. This lightweight lotion is easy to apply, quick drying and suitable for all skin tones. And you're supposed to apply it instead of your regular body lotion, wash palms after use and it does actually recommend patch test first. So this kind of self tan product is my favourite, the kind that's a body lotion. So you use in place of your body lotion. It's really quite nice and easy to apply. Um, one tip I did read that when you're applying things like this, use a latex glove and it actually really does work. You kind of keep your palms uh, tan colour free and it does blend it in really well or it seems to so i have used it on my arms and legs i don't think you're going to be able to get a very good opinion here to see but i did notice a different a slight difference i have to say it wasn't massive but i imagine that if you use it every day it will build up on that tan now there's not a great deal in here but it's a decent enough amount to try one of the things i was worried about was what it was going to smell like because for me I put body cream on for the smell of the body cream and if this didn't have a very nice smell it wouldn't be much good so I'll just show you now obviously I don't want to get this on my palms like I've just said so I'll just show, sort of show you what it is like it is a body cream consistency but a light one um, and it blends in really really well smells beautiful it smells of coconut tropical very summery very lovely 
and it did last it didn't last all day actually that smell but it has been a really really hot day so it did have a lot to contend with um but yeah on the whole i really like this product and i have noticed as i say a slight difference it's on my legs as well again a slight difference i think i'm going to try it again tomorrow and see if it does build up but these ones tend to do that i'm gonna to have to pause it because i just want to quickly go and wash this off i'll be back in a second right the next product is actually by the body shop and it is drops of youth concentrate serum it's a 30 ml version and is worth 28 pounds Body Shop says this lightweight serum gives you that fresh faced, healthy looking glow we're all looking for. The gel like texture sinks in quickly to leave your skin feeling fresher and replenished with moisture. A total bonus for busy lives. We've also boosted it with protection from indoor and outdoor pollution. It forms a protective layer on skin to help it feel strengthened and suppler. It's made with 99% ingredients of natural origin and is enriched with three plant stem cells the parts of a plant that make it grow and renew tissue a few drops a day is all it takes to help skin feeling healthy and looking nice and glowy pop a moisturizer on top to help lock in the moisture and you're good to go and it does say that after one day skin appears smoother and fresher and day after day pores look refined and skin feels smooth and healthier now i've never had a body shop product in a beauty box before so i was quite surprised at this and, and quite interested and here is what it actually looks like so it's a lovely little green bottle and a little pipette um, dropper um, i think it's that way around and i did use this both last night and this morning so i can report back that it is a lovely feeling serum so I'll just show you what it's like on the back of my hand. See, it's quite jelly. See, it's quite stands up quite firm there, but it does rub in and blend into a really lovely feeling serum. Now, smell wise, there is a smell there and I can't quite put my finger on it. It's and it doesn't last long once it's sort of blended in. I think it might be vaguely citrusy but to be honest i'm not entirely sure it's not a very strong smell and it's not an unpleasant one it's quite nice um so i like that i've used it under makeup today it worked okay under makeup i used it last night it's working well it seems to with all my other products i think i'm going to use it as a sort of a daytime type serum mainly because of the protection element in it with the um external aggressors sort of thing and yeah i think that will fit nicely into my daytime routine i do use different serums for different things and different ones in the day and different ones at night mainly because i've got so many but i will enjoy using that one i think now the next product is by code 8 beauty there we go and it's the five sex and that means s e c s seconds hydrating lip color voyage voyage on orient this is a full size version i think um it's 2.5 grams i think that's full size i'm not 100 percent sure actually but on the code eight website it's priced at 27 pounds if it is full size and i think they said combining the hydrating and repairing benefits for lip balm with the color effect for sheer lipstick the five seconds express lip and cheek, cheek tint is fantastic for applying color on the go leaving your lips intensely hydrated and subtly tinted now i did try this on a little bit earlier and it is really nice i haven't got it on now actually i was what i was going to do was demo it for you so um i have got something on at the moment let me just wipe that off and i'll be back again now with these sort of balm ones this is what it looks like actually i haven't shown you have i yet i don't think so it's really nicely packaged and this is the color so it's kind of nude ish slightly not quite the color i would normally go for but it's okay um, with these balmy products i normally like to have a lip line on and i did have a lip line on earlier but i'm not sure it may have worn off a bit and they tend to bleed 
I find if you're not careful. So I'm going to put it on, just bear with me a minute. Mm. There you go, it's not the sort of colour that you would normally see me in, I don't think. It's okay, I wore it out today. Um, it felt nice on the lips because of the balmness of it, um, but I don't know whether it's going to be a sort of go-to product. Maybe, maybe not. I did actually try it on my cheek as well, and I never normally use products like this on my cheeks because I'm not very good at it. But I did, I put a little bit there earlier and just blended it out a little bit and it did give a nice little hint of colour. So maybe I might use it, that's maybe where I'll use it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's me. I kind of want to take it off, but you know, I don't want to keep pausing. Okay, next one is by, now I found out how to say this at last because I keep saying pray, but it is actually pry. It's by pry. And it's the Ageless Upper Arm Cream. It's 30 mils, and you can get this size for £7 from the Pry website. And they say the unique caffeine infused complex wages war on slack skin to help visibly firm and tone upper arms, rich emollient, smooth the skin surface, and together with an invigorating light minty fragrance, helps your skin feel energised and look smoother. And to use this, you massage into your upper arms using circular motions until the product is fully absorbed. For best results, use twice a day. So I did get this actually in the Marks and Spencer Beauty bag not that long ago. And I have been using it. And do you know what? I really like it. I'm not saying that I'm seeing any results yet, but I like using it. It's got a beautiful smell. Um, let's pop it on here. So it's quite a nice thick sort of body cream and it has got a gorgeous fresh smell there is an element of mint to it but it's not overpowering um it's just a very light fresh it's almost like being out in the garden and getting a little hint of a bit of grass a bit of mint a bit of summer's evening do you know that sort of smell it really is lovely i'm using it at night time so i'm using it as part of my nighttime routine which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go um and i'm putting it on my upper arms now i'm really pleased to get another one simply because it means i have got more time to find out if it is going to be something that works for me and i could do with that i've got a really bad arm on this arm and i can't do much with it so it is quite slack shall we say so yeah very very happy to get that product from pry now the next one is from bumble and bumble there you go and it's the hairdresser's invisible oil heat stroke uv protective primer it's 30 mils 60 mils is available on the brand site for 12 pounds so i'm guessing this is around and about half that price six pounds and they say a blend of six featherlight oils helps soften silk and tame defrizz detangle and protect against breakage and without weighing hair down the oils contained in this are coconut argan macadamia nut sweet almond safflower seed and grape seed and to use it, you can spray onto damp or dry hair, rake through and style. Now, I always use a protective um, product because I do both blow dry my hair and I straighten it as well. And my hair gets very, very frizzy. And if I don't use something, it will be horrendous. So I've used this today again. And I've used it twice. I used it before blow drying on my damp hair and then I used it... Um, when I did my straightening. Now for the damp hair it was excellent because first of all you spray it through and it sprayed really well um, and then I just sort of like did what they said and raked my hands through and it smells beautiful. Let me just remind myself what of. Yeah it's, it's just sweet and it's just a very very lovely smell. All hair products tend to smell nice don't they though so that's nothing unusual but the great thing was that when I did blow dry my hair I could almost have got away without straightening it the only reason I did straighten it was because I was going out to meet a friend and I just wanted it to be straight 
but it didn't it did sort of calm down the frizz the flyaways made it feel nice so yeah i really like this product it's a great size to try as well so very very happy with this one now the next one is by olverum i think it's called and it's the dry body oil and it's 30 mils now 100 mils is 38 pounds so i guess this would be about 11 or 12 pound maybe so the brand says that this is a versatile dry oil which protects skin from external aggressors featuring a unique combination of over 30 sustainably sourced botanical oils and extracts and essential oils our super light must absorbing spray is designed to leave the skin feeling silken without the use of silicones apply to damp cleanse skin and massage lightly paint particular area to drier areas such as the particular attention i think i said that wrong didn't i to drier areas such as the knees and elbows to help calm the mind after applying the oil no that's wrong as well sorry right i'm gonna have a hot flush in a minute okay i'm gonna do that again apply to damp cleanse skin and massage lightly paying particular attention to drier areas such as the knees and elbows then full stop to help calm the mind after applying the oil cup your hands around your nose and mouth and breathe deeply okay got that out now i'll have i'll show you what this looks like and i did use it last night with that description they talk about spraying it and i think when i looked on their website you could see that the actual full size version has like a little spray application which would be much better than the this sort of i guess it's like a sort of tri travel size version now it's very pretty looking and it's in a lovely glass bottle but the problem is and this is the problem i've had with oils before which i really don't like is the top and i don't know whether you can see but that's a proper open big open top there and when you're especially at night trying to use an oil like that no matter how careful you are it tends to over flow and i got it all over the place so it was that was the main gripe i had with this particular product if it was in the spray it would be much much better the other thing with this um as regards the smell it's not really my kind of thing it's quite herbally and it's not i'm just gonna have to pause this isn't a good segment is it i don't know but i'm not starting again just bear with me did you notice i took that opportunity to change my lips back I'm not really keen on that color but anyway as far as this oil is concerned i'm not going to pour it out because i know i'm going to make a mess and i just don't want to go there it is a little bit herbally for me it's interesting smell i thought it was actually a bit lemony I'm not sure whether there is meant to be lemon in there. I think I know someone who might like it though, so I'm probably going to pass it their way if they're happy about the pouring issue. Okay, the next one is... Now, you had a choice. Well, you didn't have a choice, actually. I think you got one or the other. And they were both Nukes products. Again, I don't know whether I say that properly. And you could either get the Nukes Very Rose Ultra Fresh Cleansing Mat mask or the nukes organic micro exfoliating cleansing mask now on the nukes web website the full sizes are different for each of these products so the rose mask the full size is 150 mils like this and it's worth 20 pounds 50 and the micro exfoliating mask is just 50 mils but worth 25 pounds so i imagine the difference in the value is to do with the cost of the ingredients and what, what is in the product so i got the rose mask but i will tell you a little bit about the other one in case you do get this box and you get the other one so latest in beauty says formulated with apricot kernel powder and botanical sal salicylic acid this cream mask exfoliates and purifies the skin and refines your skin texture revealing a smoother complexion um, and to use that one you use it once or twice a week and you apply a thick layer to your damp face avoiding the eye contour area leave on for three minutes and then massage using circular movements then rinse with cold water so for the rose mask latest in beauty say enriched with rose floral water this soothing gel mask features a lightweight gel texture that glides easily across your skin it deeply cleanses skin and gets rid of impurities and pollutants to use you apply daily to damp skin leave for one minute massaging and rinse so i am really happy i got this one and i used it last night 
and it was amazing it was an amazing product i wasn't expecting to particularly like this i like masks but i'm not like really excited by them but i like this a lot because it's kind of a, like a bit of a hybrid type product it's a mask but it's kind of a cleanser and i used it as stage two cleansing routine last night and it worked amazingly now the smell it is rose but it's delicate rose it's the kind of rose when you sniff a fresh rose it's beautiful and it smelled so good last night um so it is a gel texture i don't know whether you'll see it very well there yes i think you can and what happens when you do rub it in on damp skin i think it said and i think that's what i did it does become it does sort of make a lather like a cleanser and you just leave it on for a minute while you just do something else and then wash it off so it is just like using a cleanser um then it did leave my face feeling really clean really smooth i did need to use hyaluronic acids uh, serums moisturizer straight afterwards because it did feel like it had taken all those impurities away and left my skin feeling soft but in need of some other moisture to just replace it so i'm really really happy with that one it actually might be my favorite product in here although there are a couple more that are really really great too okay the next one now this is the one that you had to make the choice on the box for and it's a brow product here we go it's by iconic london it's the triple precision brow definer it's a full size and it's got an rrp of 22 pounds so what you had to do is choose your shade and I think the colours, the shade choices on the website when I looked at the moment, the boxes that are still left are blonde, chocolate brown, cool brown and ash blonde. So I chose blonde and the brand says it's a three in one brow definer which combines a soft micro brow pencil, a fine tip eyebrow pen and a spoolie brush so you can get stunning salon worthy brows at home every single day. The micro brow pencil is perfect for creating a super soft fullness to the brows, while the brow pen is unreal at mimicking natural looking brow hairs. Plus, thanks to a clever tattoo effect dye, you can be safe in the knowledge that your brows aren't going anywhere for 24 hours. Now, there is a video on the website as well. I didn't look at it, but there is a video to show you how to apply it as well. Um, I used it today. Surprise, surprise now i'm really pleased with this product because i wasn't expecting to particularly like it i tend to go for brow gels and that's what i like using crayons brow crayons for me they're okay but they've never been that special this one is amazing so i'm just going to see show you the the pencil bit so you get the pencil at the end like um a retractable uh, pencil there i don't know whether that's very clear Mm, but it's very nice then if you unscrew the bit under that here you get your little spoolie and then the other end is the sort of the the one that i didn't use to be fair the little nylon tipped one i didn't use that i wasn't brave enough for that the reason i didn't use it actually was because i used the crayon bit and i was really really impressed with it it went on brilliantly it sort of coated the hairs and filled in the little gaps that i needed it to i felt like it just was really really easy to to do whereas crayons i've used before i've struggled and i haven't liked using them that much but this one i really like i think this might be my new brow product which is amazing if that's the case because i didn't think i'd turn away from brow gels okay I also I'm really liking Iconic London at the moment I have to say the next one again I really like this so this is by Skin Gradients, and it's the skin shielding moisturizing and priming SPF 50 PA++ this is 73 mils and it's worth 51 pounds latest in beauty say formulated with zinc oxide and niacinamide this multi award winning lightweight broad spectrum SPF protects skin from UVA, UVB rays, blue light and pollution. It's also non-comedogenic, which means it won't clog pores. 
And to use it, you pat half a teaspoon onto your face, neck, ears and exposed areas after your serums and moisturisers. And you are supposed to reapply every two hours when exposed to direct sunlight. So again, I tried this out today. It's beautiful. It comes in this lovely little cardboard um, box. And then the packaging itself is really lovely too. Um, I think you can get refills on this. I think this is the product that you could. Now, I'm not sure whether you're supposed to shake it. I don't think so. You know, it's got like one of those noises that sounds like you are meant to. When I did use it earlier, it was a little bit runny, so maybe you are supposed to shake it a bit first. But I'll show you anyway and see. Yeah, it is quite runny anyway. Um, and it's slightly peachy. I don't know whether you'll get that on the camera. So I used this today on my face and it blends in for an SPF 50 it blends in so easily but better than that it left this kind of glow on my face and it was so good and so looked so nice that I actually forgot to use my primer before I put my makeup on and then I put my makeup on top of it and it did work um, really well under makeup too so I have to say that it is a really nice product. I'm just trying to see if there is a smell. I don't think there was. In fact, no, I'm pretty sure there wasn't. I did notice there wasn't much of a smell to it, which again, that's not too, I like a smell to be fair, but I'm not going to complain about that. It's such a good product. The fact that it blended in so well and left that kind of glow, which was great to use as, well, it does say it's a primer, I think, doesn't it? But I didn't expect that it would be good enough to be a primer. But yeah, I say definitely, definitely, that is worth a little try okay now I think we're heading on to our last couple of products and we have not got a lot of time so I'm going to whiz um, this one is by Avant and it's the brightening and depuffing hyaluronic overnight eye recovery mask this is a 15 mil version and has a RRP of 74 pounds Latest in beauty say, formulated with hyaluronic acid, shea butter and pulalin, this innovative eye recovery mask helps treat puffy eyes, brighten dark circles and improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Now I have had this before. Unfortunately, I didn't get on with it. I've got it here. I did try it. Now, some ingredients you get on with or you don't get on with. Now I'm wondering whether it's the pulalin. I've never heard of that product before ingredient before so I'm not sure whether that's the one that didn't agree with me um, I think it is one that could potentially cause people problems but then any ingredient could cause anyone problems which is why it's always worth doing a patch test on any kind of new beauty product that you get these days um, but for me it's not really um, one that I would try and use again so I'm going to give both of these products away I'll just show you what it looks like though because it's really probably wouldn't be a problem anywhere else apart from my under eye area which is so sensitive it's ridiculous okay so it's creamy it blends in nicely it's got a few, it has got a nice little fragrance to it I'm not sure yeah, I think it has got a nice little fragrance to it and I have looked online and there are some really good reviews on it so it's not nothing to do with the product itself it's just that it doesn't suit me okay that's the one that I've used I've got to try and remember which is which okay final final product in this wonderful box is a lovely perfume I love perfumes okay let me just find the detail on this and it's by eccentric eccentric molecules and it's molecule 01 plus mandarin and this is the 7.5 mil and is sold at this at the pound site for 25 pounds sorry if you heard something sniffing it wasn't anything to do with me it's a dog outside i'll have to finish this up quickly okay the brand says molecule 01 plus mandarin consists of iso e super plus mandarin ISO E Super is an abstract synthetic molecule characterised as a cedar wood note with a warm velvety cocooning sensation. Mandarin is a natural ingredient extracted from the mandarin orange. Now there's a lot more description on the website about how this develops through the day and the story behind the brand and about the molecule things themselves. There was so much support there was no way that I could really talk to you about that. So what I thought I'd do is put it on. So I have been wearing this all day. Now the first burst of this is amazing. I love fruity perfumes. It probably, if it 
could stay like this all day it would be my number one perfume without a shadow of a doubt what happened was I put it on round about nine o'clock by about two o'clock I went to sniff it to see how it was developing but I couldn't really smell it that well so I did have to reapply but then I did smell it a couple of hours after that and it smelled really nice still I can't smell it now but to be fair let's face it I've been smelling lots of other things so I'm going to give it another sniff just so I can give you the sort of initials again oh, it is it does smell it just smells of oranges but fruity light fresh summery mm. I would have this now I think I found out what a 30 mil um, size would be and let's see where it was I'm sure I found out how much that was going to be 47 pounds I think so I think I'd pay that I would pay that for that it's lovely um I might get it one day maybe not now but I could go on a birthday list Christmas list anyway loved it okay what do you think about the box there's 11 products in here so when you think you're paying if you get if you use the code and can get it for 46 pounds and 95 including the delivery charge then i think that's pretty good going it's worth 274 pounds there's some amazing products in here and i mean amazing i'm not just saying that um i love the the spf cream i or this Nukes one although you might not get that one you might get the other one the brow pencil fabulous the perfumes just amazing I really like the um, hair protection product and the pry and um, arm cream which I've had before the body shop serums really lovely so there's a lot of good products in there I think the only products that I'm not so sure about is the lipstick but I would potentially use that as as a sort of blush um the the eye cream which I just I'm not gonna ever get on with that but someone else will make good use of it I guess and the oil which for me I don't like that kind of pourer for oil it's really not a good idea especially when you use your oils at night and the smell just isn't for me but to be honest there's only two out of 11 i don't know whether i mentioned all the products there i, I don't know whether i did or not oh it's time to pay the tan actually i really like that too so yeah i only really particularly didn't like shall we say two of the products out of that so that is a very very good result for me i've just noticed i've gone over half an hour which i hate doing and i'm so sorry hope i didn't bore you too much hope you like the box give it some thought you might like it you might not but i think it's definitely worth it hope to see you here again for some more unboxing take lots of care 